It's a rainy night in Santa Barbara. We're on State Street at the Arlington Theater for the Santa Barbara International Film Festival. We're awaiting the arrival of Ben Affleck, director of Argo, also starred in it. And he is getting the Modern Masters Award tonight, and the crowd is getting crazy waiting for him to get here. It's just flattering and overwhelming, and uh, this whole reception is really, uh, I, I'm shocked by it. Santa Barbara's wonderful, the film festival's terrific, um, it's got a great reputation, and uh, I feel like they must have made some mistake in honoring me, but I'm not going to tell them, because uh, it's so much fun. It's no mistake, I mean, everybody is just, you know, just raving about your work with Argo. What is it about directing that you love so much? As opposed to being just yeah, I think as a director, you know, you get to tell a whole story, and you get to ex sort of wrap around that story themes that are resonant and interesting to you. As an actor, you kind of come to a movie and you're trying to express the director's vision for them, so you don't really get to do the same kind of thing in terms of, you know, creating something that's, uh, you know, that speaks from your your own experiences. Uh, you know, you have a bigger sense of authorship. What about the challenge of directing yourself? Is that easier or is that harder than just? You know, working for another director? Uh, I, I like to act in my own movies. It gives me a chance to control the performance in the editing room, and I allow myself as an actor a lot of takes, which uh, is good, <laughs> and uh, some other directors don't. Um, so I really, I really like it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This thing is seriously heavy. Um, this is a serious award, man. So, um, um, a modern master. Okay. <clears throat> I'll tell you what. Uh, one thing I've learned is that you cannot, you cannot make a great movie by accident. Anybody who makes a great movie is a great director, period. Uh, that's true. Because the director is responsible for literally everything. The, everything, the framing of the shot, where the camera is, what the actors are wearing, the color of the walls, the color of the drapes, the color of the scarf around the leading act, lady's neck, the, the way she says that line, the everything. It's, it's all manipulated and, and Every single decision, these directors are making hundreds and hundreds of decisions a day over hundreds of days. You just can't do it by accident. It's, it's literally impossible. Um, and Ben's made these three great movies. And this last one, Argo, is a legitimately great movie um, that's already, you know, it's nominated for Best Picture and it's already won the Golden Globe for Best Picture and for Ben for Best Director. And no one's going to be surprised if it wins the Oscar for Best Picture. And. And so here I am with my, you know, my buddy uh, is without question a great director. <laughs> uh, and so when I'm, I was contemplating this whole master thing, I guess the only thing I could say is uh, please welcome um, uh, please welcome 
somebody who is undeniably two things, uh, my very old friend and a very young master. It's heavy, man. Thank you very much. This is uh, indeed uh, a lot. I want to say thank you to, to Matt Damon, <clears throat> who, when he gets this award, um, I hope will invite me here to give a speech about him. Uh, mine will be a bit more of a roast, um, because so many of the brilliant uh, characteristics of Matt are so blatantly self-evident. <clears throat> I, I, I know that this movie is really about Ar this award is really really about Argo, um, and and it's a movie that's uh, made an impression, I guess, unlike any other movie I've ever uh, I've ever worked on. The Iranians themselves are producing a sequel to the movie. It was my first successful franchise. Uh, the only real wisdom I have to offer is that uh, if there's a mastery. It's, it's in partnership. Thank you very much. <laughs> Basketball question, Ben. It's been tough to be a Laker fan this year. Is it tough to be a Celtics fan? Uh, you know, it's up and down. But now you know what it used to feel like to be a Red Sox fan in the old days. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually been very amazed to see the, the Lakers struggle. I can't remember. Uh, I feel like, you know, you always the Celtics fans always grudgingly think of the Lakers as, like, winners. Right. You know, it's tough. Right. It's and tough. I guess we'll have to change that uh, point of view. The best. The best. I love them. Thank you. Thank you.